Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1991. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1991 is to be stored in a 5 meter cubed containment chamber within Site-19's biological specimens wing. Due to the specimen's behavior, a locked door is considered to be all that is required to prevent escape. SCP-1991 is to be fed 3 kilograms of cooked and pulped beef daily. Water is to be provided via a trough which is to be kept refilled constantly. Containment cell is to be cleaned weekly by D-Class personnel. Description: SCP-1991 is a 2 meter long quadruped mammalian creature of unknown species, enhanced by the implantation of cybernetic compounds. Both implanted compounds and creature show signs of damage consistent with extreme age, poorly healed puncture wounds, bullets of assorted calibers embedded underneath the skin, burns comparable to those produced by industrial cutting lasers, and starvation. SCP-1991 appears to have suffered psychological damage as a result of physical abuse or trauma, displaying extreme fear of loud noises, rapid movements, and aggression or seeming aggression by personnel. SCP-1991's body core is roughly humanoid, with elongated limbs of equal length. All limbs end in hands similar to those of a large primate, apart from the presence of elongated claws. The head resembles a mummified canine skull with elongated incisor teeth. Skin resembles decayed leather, with matted fur growing from it, primarily around the ankles and back of the neck. SCP-1991 lacks a tail. When recovered, SCP-1991 displayed traits of starvation, including enlarged gut and enunciated limbs. Proper feeding while in containment has been shown to cure said traits. Cybernetics consist of a mechanical collar, implantation of unidentified structure into right forelimb, sharpened steel blades replacing teeth and claws of forelimbs, as well as system alterations of unknown usage. Collar consists of a metal disc embedded into the front of the neck, possessing a small speaker array, non-functional due to bullet damage. Six video cameras, two of which have broken lenses, and a complex network of fibers apparently serving as a linkage or control to its central nervous system, non-functional due to Due to the non-functional nature of linkage between its nervous system and the camera network on the shield, SCP-1991 appears to be blind. The right forelimb structure consists of a pair of miniature mechanical clamps and an extending rotary metal rod, similar to the triggering equipment of remotely operated firearms. It is assumed that the clamps were intended to serve as the mounting system for such a weapon. Behavioral Test Log 1991-1 Tests of SCP-1991 Behavior in Regards to Positive Stimuli Supervisor, Dr. Stimulus, Dr. Saying Hello in a Normal and Calm Voice Effect upon Subject SCP-1991 having huddled in the furthest corner of the containment chamber upon Dr. entry emerged hesitantly and licked Dr. Dr.'s outstretched hand. Supervisor, Dr. Stimulus, SCP-1991 petted on top of the head by Dr. Effect upon subject, SCP-1991 emitted a gurgling noise assumed to be a sign of pleasure. Supervisor, Dr. Stimulus, SCP-1991 given common canine chew toy shaped like a teddy bear. Effect upon subject, SCP-1991 prodded toy with a forepaw, causing him to squeak. SCP-1991 proceeded to emit whimpering noise and huddle against the farthest wall of the containment chamber until the chew toy was removed. Behavioral Test Log 1991-2 Tests of SCP-1991 Behavior in Regards to Negative Stimuli Supervisor, Agent Stimulus, Agent saying hello in a raised and aggressive voice. Effect upon subject, 
SCP-1991 proceeded to rapidly move to the furthest edge of the chamber from Agent and attempted to curl into a ball. Supervisor, Agent Stimulus, Agent Clapping hands in front of SCP-1991 Effect upon subject SCP-1991 whimpered and attempted to cover head with forepaws. Supervisor, Agent Stimulus, Gunshot from starter pistol into the air outside containment chamber. Effect upon subject. SCP-1991 urinated on the floor of the containment chamber and huddled, twitching on the opposite side of chamber from the door until ending of the test. History. SCP-1991 was recovered by Foundation agents in 19... Following reports of a monster scavenging from dumpsters in a small town and cover story regarding vagrants planted. Okay. I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Slump God, Justin Day, John O. Porter, Fluffy, Pierce M. Hamlin, White Crew, Beware 600, My Archive Curator Nick, Tyver Ball, Cody Tench, Cheese Whip, Dips McGee, and Oblong Douchboy. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.